Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. In this video, we'll show you how to set up Google Ads conversion tracking for the purchase event and how to track uh, purchase value, the currency, transaction ID for your Shopify store. Okay, so without any further delay, let's get started. So you can see over here, I have created a demo Shopify store where I have only one product. Okay, and I'll show you how we can set up the purchase event and their respective values, currency, and transaction ID. Okay, perfect. Then you can see over here, I have also created a tag manager account where I'll be showing all the tagging. Okay, perfect. So before uh, setting up purchase event, uh, we need to enable data layer for our Shopify store. Okay, so you can see over here, I have already enabled this data layer okay so this is the updated data layer and this is a theme independent that means if you change your shopify theme then it will be still working okay so if i try to show you whether i have enabled data layer or not okay i will take the help of an extension called tag assistant legacy i'm gonna enable it and refresh the screen and i'm gonna click on this product and if I go to the tag manager, this one actually, and if I go to the data layer section, then you can see over here, event is view item because I have viewed the item, then URL, this one, e-commerce, then currency value, and we have items array as well, okay? So that means uh, the uh, data layer has been installed on this website. But the problem is now uh, this, this data layer is in beta mode and it is called sandbox so unfortunately we cannot preview and see all of the events in google tag manager if i try to show you i'm going to click on preview section then if i copy the url and paste it over here then if I go to the tag assistant, it will show connected, but you can see Google tag, this one not found, but uh, to show you whether I have uh, installed data layer for our site or not, I'll go to the admin section. So for going to the admin section, I'll provide my URL then slash admin, okay? So I'll go to the settings portion. And if I scroll down, then we have an option called customer events. Then if I click on it, if I scroll down, then you can see the data layer code is available here. Okay, perfect. So if you need this data layer code, you can uh, message me. I, I have provided my WhatsApp number. You can directly call me or you can email me. Okay, perfect. So let's go to the GTM section. So we'll be setting up uh, Google Ads purchase event. So as you know, for setting up uh, any Google Ads event, we need to uh, create a tag called conversion linker. So I'm gonna create a tag for conversion linker. And tag configuration would be Google Ads conversion linker. Then as the triggering, I'll be using all pages and I'll click on save. Okay. Perfect. So before creating Google Ads conversion tracking for the purchase event, we need to create variables and triggers. Okay. So I'll go to the variable section and I'll create some built-in variables. So if I, uh, first of all, we need to, uh, set up goals like conversions in our Google Ads dashboard. So if I click on goals, then we have an option called conversion. Then I'm going to click on summary. Just wait a little bit. And I'll click on create conversion action. Then I'm going to be choosing website. Then I need to copy my website URL. Maybe I can copy this. And I'll paste it over here and click on scan then i'm going to be choosing add conversion action manually 
from goal and action optimization, I'll be choosing purchase. This one purchase. And I'll name this event as Google Ads Conversion and Purchase. So you can name it as per your requirements. Then from the value section, I'll be using this one. Use different values for this conversion, okay? Because uh, it will take mm, it will take values from our data layer, okay? And for the, from the count section, we'll be counting every because you can see over here recommended for purchase because every purchase is valu valuable. And from the click through window, I'll maximize the data the day range actually. Similarly for Engage view conversion window, view through conversion window, 30 days attribution would be uh, data driven. Okay, perfect. I'll click on done. Then I'm going to click on save and continue. Then you can see over here we have three options available one for Google Tag, then you can email the instruction to your developer, and third one is Google Tag Manager. So we are going to be using Google Tag Manager. Okay. So we have conversion ID and conversion level. So let's go to that uh, variable section. Okay. So we need to create three variables uh, for setting up purchase event. One is value, then currency and transaction ID. Okay. So let's create them. So I have come to the user defined variable. Then I'll click on new and i might name it i i will name it as purchase value okay perfect and if i click on variable configuration i will be choosing data layer variable so let's go to the data layer or what you can do you can make a purchase for example i'll make a purchase then view cart then check out. So I'll be providing my details over here. Then credit card one, variation date two, 26, security code one, two, one. And I'm going to click on pay now. So for collecting this data layer variables, I can either use this talk or I can. Uh, show you from here as well. So let's go to the thank you page. And if I inspect this, then I'll go to the console section. I'm going to delete everything. Let me. Okay. So here we'll be choosing. Web pixel sandbox. Okay. Then if I write data layer and hit enter, click on this one, then I'll be going to the purchase event. So you can see over here, we can create uh, data layer variables using this formula. So you can see over here, e-commerce, under e-commerce, we have currency, and under e-commerce, uh, we have uh, shipping, tax, transaction ID, and value, okay? So we'll be creating uh, data layer variables using this formula, or you can try this one, OK? So for example, uh, I'll be using this one. So first one was for purchase value, OK? So what you can do, e-commerce is an object. And inside e-commerce, we have value, transaction ID, coupon, shipping, tax, then currency as well. So I'll copy e-commerce from here and paste it over here. And as you know, e-commerce is an object. That's why we have to put a dot over there. Okay. E-commerce dot value. Okay, perfect. Then I'll click on save. Then I'll create another variable. So what I can do, I can copy this existing variable and then we can modify purchase maybe currency 
okay so if i go to the doc then e-commerce dot currency so i'm gonna copy currency from here and instead of bill i'll be giving currency and i'll click on save and the last variable i'll be creating is for purchase transaction id transaction id and if i go to the doc then you can see over here e-commerce dot transaction id instead of currency i'll be providing transaction id i'm gonna click on save next we need to create a trigger so if i go to there then you can see over here uh if i go to the purchase event event name is purchase okay so what you can do you can copy this purchase event so okay let me copy the whole thing from here then let's stick over here so i'm gonna copy the purchase event and i'll go to the trigger and i'm gonna click on new and i can name it as purchase trigger okay i'll be choosing trigger configuration as custom event and even then event name would be purchase and i'll click on set perfect then we'll go to the tax section I'll create a track for Google Ads Purchase event. Google Ads Purchase event. So I'll be choosing tag configuration as Google Ads. Then Google Ads conversion tracking. And I need to provide a conversion ID, conversion level, value, transaction id and currency okay so i'm gonna copy the conversion id from here and paste it over here then i'll copy the uh, i'll copy the conversion label and paste it over here then as the conversion value we had created uh a data layer variable called purchase value okay so i'll be using purchase value as conversion value and transaction id i'll be using purchase transaction id and currency code i'll be using purchase currency okay perfect then we need to choose the trigger so i'm going to be choosing purchase trigger and click on save let's go to the google ads section and click on done So you can see over here, uh, we are in the conversion section of our Google Ads and I have created this conversion, Google Ads purchase and currently it is showing inactive. Uh, so if I go to the troubleshoot section and click continue, then if I provide my website URL and click on connect, let's see uh, whether it works or not by making a purchase so i'm going to select this product i'll click on add to cart i'll click on view cart then i'm going to click on checkout i have to provide my billing information Card number is one two twenty seven one two one and if I click on pay now then let's see what happens. So thanks uh Rida, your order is confirmed. Okay. So if I go to here 
then you can see everything is working fine okay but the problem is uh we cannot troubleshoot this one because this the pixel is sandboxed you know uh the limitation of using this data layer as i already told you we cannot now preview it using google tag manager or tag assistant so that's why it is still showing inactive but don't worry whenever we have the uh, we'll have the real data then it will be active okay perfect so this is how uh, you can set up conversion tracking uh, specifically purchase tracking for your shopify store okay so that's it for this video hopefully you have liked our video if you like our video then you can subscribe our channel follow our page you have a good day bye bye